Hello, I'm Jessica and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick unboxing of my Planet Box order that I've recently done. I bought some more lunch boxes. I have older lunch boxes from them and I wanted to show you guys later how they're holding up after four years of constant use. So let's do this. I'm gonna cut open the box first. Like the day before. So here are all of the different lunch boxes that I ordered. So I ordered two of these slim ones. Then I ordered two of these and then this pretty blue for my son. Then I also got one of these lunch totes. This is the other um, lunch tote. Then I got the Planet Box carry bag. And then this is also one of the carry bags and this is a space one. And then here's the other just slim case. I also got two of the square shaped cooler packs because I wanted to see the longer current ones I think will still work, but we're gonna try that out. So this is the first slim sleeve that I got. It has a handle that's really nice. It also comes with a strap that you can attach on the sides here and here and it has a zipper and they have they always have really nice pull tabs on their zippers and this is the inside that you can see and it fits the rover and I think the launch box perfectly super nice you definitely have room for the ice pack old or new and then I did get a pack of the newer ones to see what those look like I think they're more in mind and so this is the, the new size. So either of the ice packs would work really well. I love how thin they are. Um, but my biggest issue is for my young children, there's no drink that can fit into this small area. So for me, I think these are gonna be a no-go. I love the quality. I think for a teenager or older kids, this is perfect. You have the little, this is slim enough, I feel like to fit in a backpack or to, you know, carry on the side and it's pretty discreet. They only sell black right now. I don't know if that's on purpose, but it is what it is. The next lunch box we have is called the lunch sack. It has Velcro, which I don't know if I love the Velcro. I'm not sure. It's a very classic lunch box look. So it is completely lined on the inside. They have a spot for the square uh, ice pack. And then obviously the shuttle fits in there. I feel like you can almost fit two of these in here. Wow, yeah, so you can fit two and it still shuts. I don't know why you would want to, but if you have one and then say you wanna add the snack and keep it cold in here too. So if I take this out and put that in, it definitely fits both. So that's kind of cool that it can fit that much in there. So this one has a handle at the top. It does not have a zipper. It has another little tab. I'm assuming that's so it's, you can hold on to. And then it has a pocket on the side. What I wanna see is if you can fit a normal sized drink in here. These are their official um, capsule drink containers. Okay, so technically it fits so if I have this, it can fit up there. This one, I think, because this is a jeans, this will show wear and tear, and but just, um, it'll get lighter here. The dark color, I don't know why, doesn't have elastic in it here. I wonder if they just forgot to put it in this one. I'm not exactly sure. This one has elastic in it to, I guess, keep, if you can see the yellow, to keep it in there. Yeah, I can't, I can't get that in. Okay, so. This one has the same yellow interior, same sleeve. If you send juice boxes, this would easily fit in here or inside the bag itself. I think these are really good attempts. They don't work for us, but these are also super nice, especially if you're not concerned about having the drink in with it. The next one that I have is the lunch tote. I love the look of these. These, I think, these are the backpack version. For my kids, I think this is not gonna be the best thing. I love how this is adjustable. I think that is incredible. I like that there's even, you know, a handle down, a little tab down here to hold, to open things better. In the front, I didn't realize, but I guess it has a zipper in the front. 
and it looks like it is a waterproof pocket in the front, which I think is amazing. So you could definitely put snacks in there. Then at the top, they have it like this to where it can be a handle or it's just a backpack. And then it just has the handle on the front, it has a zipper. I do have to say that I feel like they always do really good zippers, really good liners. That's where the ice pack fits in there. And there's definitely plenty of space. I would say if you have a preschooler and they don't need a big backpack, I would get this. Then their lunch fits in it. You can put a change of clothes. They even have a small little pocket here. I think this thing is so, so good. You also don't need to have this big of a sippy cup, but I'm gonna see if I can scooch this over and if it'll fit on the side. I mean, it definitely fits the drink. It's just not ideal. But if you have a small preschooler, this would be the bag I'd get. They have so many cute patterns. Here is the a different one because it's its own standalone backpack, which I think is a crazy good deal because you're getting a backpack and a lunchbox in one, especially if you just need the itty bitty ones. And then it's a lot easier for the kid to carry because these lunchboxes do weigh more than some of the super lightweight kids ones. Here is the unicorn carry bag. So it still has this, it has uh, the same type of liner. It can still fit the same nice big water bottle. Then it's a nice lined, um, you know, I, I normally put my kids cloth napkins in there. My only hesitation about this color is I'm afraid it's gonna stain pretty easily and show dirt a lot more to where it wouldn't look as good after say another four years. So this is where the silverware goes. They sell their own versions. I have the old style of silverware, but any kid's silverware fits in here. And then as far as um, this is, you know, this was originally designed for the old ice pack, but the new ice pack does not fit in here. So good to know. I mean, you can just lay it in there, but it's not designed for it. Put this in there. Obviously this one has been flattened in shipping, but still works really well. I would probably say if you have a typical school lunch, this is the best one. And then, you know, I just don't put their snack in this one. However, See, I've never, now this guy doesn't fit, but this isn't made to fit. The Big Dipper definitely fits in there nicely. Obviously, the little one would too, if for whatever reason you wanted to put it in there. For my needs, the carry bag is gonna be the one that I stick with. Why don't we go back to, why don't we go I did want to show you the current one that I have, I have this and then the darker blue. I do prefer the solid colors that they had. The darker ones I feel like do show stains less. You can see here, there's a stain on one of ours, but I am gonna try these. I just rinse and lay to the side. I am gonna try to wash these with um, OxyClean to kind of see. So these need to be hand washed. And after four years of constant use, in this pocket, honestly, I never put anything in. Um, my kids' snacks need to not be in their lunch bag at their school, but that's just how our school is. I am starting to lose the lining. There's like a little plastic lining in here, but after four years of use of always putting drink bottles in and out, I cannot complain. Um, this whole part came off right here. It's just the plasticky part. So again, whoops, I need to take the time to clean this with um, OxyClean a little bit better. Um, but that is my only issue. The zippers have worked perfect. Um, this also has a carrying handle and we've kept this short. So the kids have used this as their, you know, have used this part as their carrying handle, but you don't have to. These still work perfectly. So after four years, I'm very impressed. I feel like most lunch bags don't last that long. I want these as our backups. I like having four of these plenty boxes for my two kids. Mainly I pack two in the evening and then two are always in the dishwasher from the day before. So that works for us. I would definitely say look used if you can. Right now they're having their 30% off sale through I think September 15th. I am not paid by them in any way, shape or form. They have no idea who I am, but in the past years, the 25% off right before school in July, August, September was always their best sales, and this year they went down to 30%. So just FYI, it's kind of hard to know when you when you buy things from a new company to know what their best sales are, because it's very frustrating to buy stuff and then a few months later see something even more reduced. So 
30% sale, I would say is the best one I've seen thus far. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them below. If you've used any of these already, they have been out for, I don't know, maybe half a year. And if you like them or don't like them, please let us know so the rest of us are aware because that's always the hard thing. I know mine and how well they've held up in the last four years, but I hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for watching. Cheers.